Easiest way to describe the way I grew up would just be a hard-nosed, blue-collar family. Come from a farm, so hard-working people. Watch your dad work like that, watch your mom work like that. It's a really special lifestyle. I'm very proud to be from it. We raise about 100 head of Black Angus cows for freezer beef. We sell freezer beef to like three to 400 some people across Ohio for their families. On top of that, we farm about 250, 300 acres of corn and alfalfa. All that basically is what we feed to those cows. Cows eat on your birthday, cows eat on Thanksgiving, cows eat on Christmas. You carry that mindset over to football. You're always looking for another step. You're always looking for another gear you could find, another advantage somewhere. You're never satisfied until the whole job is completely done. My whole family revolved around farming and football and athletics. Five or six years old, you get going and you find a little bit of success. And you're like, hey, how can I find more success? I was always looking to headhunt people from the time you started hitting in third grade to fifth grade. Pops always preached you were at the top of the food chain, you were the enforcer at all times. And that mindset kind of moved the defense, and that's where the majority of my life I've spent, and then trying to bring that over to the offensive side of the ball. I loved high school. I loved the people around it. I loved the area. I mean, it was the kind of school where when we're playing basketball on Friday night, we're turning people down at the door because everybody's in there watching that place. We really weren't a football program when I first got there, and then by the time uh, I was a senior, we actually put together a pretty good run in the playoffs a couple times. To do it for your hometown and do it, I mean, with the guys you grew up with is really special to me. When I first came in, you obviously, everybody's got your expectations. This is how it's going to go. You're going to be here for three years. You're going to do this. You're going to start. You're going to be this and that, and you're going to go to the NFL. Uh, and obviously, uh, that's not what happened for me. It was multiple times where you're like, hey, do you actually really even belong here? Like, is this right for you? Do you need to get out of here? Uh, and, uh, really, I attest that again to my dad, just constantly keeping faith in me, even when there was times when I was like, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. He kept the faith in me, keep going. Started my first game, actually it was on defense, and I was like, okay, you're still the same guy you were, like you can roll. And then I took that over to the offensive side of the ball and just never looked back. With the 123rd pick of the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select Cade Stover. I didn't watch one second of that draft, any of it. Uh, I was actually unhooking my dad's chisel plow from his tractor and my phone rang. Coach Ryan's here with the Texans, man. He's about to turn his pick in for you. you excited? Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> we just got done working ground, and I was literally cranking the jack on the chisel plow to unhook that. And uh, I had headphones on, just on one ear, just so I could make sure my phone, I didn't, I didn't miss it. Uh, I was with him. Uh, nothing really was said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just somebody like that to get uh, just the way he is. He's just a, yeah. Something you feel like, hey, I'm ready for, and like, until it actually happens, then you're like, I'm kind of an emotional fella as far as just, I don't hide things well, I wear everything on my sleeve, good or bad, uh, it's just kind of the way it is. I don't really remember what I said by any means, I just remember I was very happy, very happy. I mean, I've always strived just to do exactly what's gonna help this team whether that's running down a kickoff, whether that's catching touchdowns, whether that's pass protection. But whatever needs to be done, I just want to mean something, I want to matter, and I'm going to put myself in a position to hopefully uh, do that and help this team go do what we got to do. That's very, very special. One of the huge perks of this place for me personally, and that goes a little bit beyond just the tight end quarterback. I mean, we were both captains of that team together, so that was something super special. And I think both of us can probably attest that was one of our biggest accomplishments we had was being elected a captain there because that's not the coach saying here hey you're a captain that's everybody voting he's where I think your leader should be on this team super special and that's a guy I mean I'll go to bat for any day there's nothing better I mean you think about a job for your life I mean yeah I love farming with all my heart but I mean to sit here and get paid to play ball and just try and find different ways just to be better and just continuously get better at playing football like you couldn't ask for anything more